Peacekeepers for Ukraine. Hello and welcome to this video, where we will discuss the top three countries that could function as peacekeepers in Ukraine, the 10 best strategies to deploy a peacekeeping force in Ukraine, and whether China and North Korea could function as peacekeepers. Ukraine has been facing a conflict with Russian-backed separatists in its eastern region since 2014. Despite several ceasefire agreements, the conflict has persisted, and a peaceful resolution seems elusive. Therefore, international peacekeepers may be needed to restore peace and stability in the region. Let's start with the three countries that could function as peacekeepers in Ukraine. Canada has a history of peacekeeping, and its military has participated in many UN peacekeeping missions. The Canadian Armed Forces have the necessary training and expertise to operate in peacekeeping missions, and they have experience in dealing with conflicts similar to the one in Ukraine. Sweden has a long history of neutrality, and its military has a reputation for being well-trained and disciplined. Sweden has contributed to many UN peacekeeping missions in the past, and its soldiers are known for their ability to operate in harsh winter conditions. Poland has played an active role in supporting Ukraine in its conflict with Russia. Poland has been a strong advocate for Ukraine in the European Union, and it has provided military aid to Ukraine. Poland has a well-trained military that could operate effectively in a peacekeeping mission. Here are 10 ways the peacekeeping force can function in Ukraine. 1. Build a coalition of peacekeeping countries to support Ukraine in restoring peace. 2. Establish clear goals and objectives for the peacekeeping mission in Ukraine. 3. Deploy a well-trained and well-equipped peacekeeping force with the necessary resources to operate in the region. 4. Implement a ceasefire agreement that is monitored and enforced by the peacekeeping force. 5. Work with both sides of the conflict to negotiate a peaceful resolution to the conflict. 6. Promote humanitarian aid and assistance to those affected by the conflict. 7. Establish a system for monitoring and reporting human rights abuses in the conflict zone. 8. Work with local communities to build trust and promote reconciliation. 9. Provide support for the reconstruction and development of infrastructure in the conflict-affected regions. 10. Ensure that the peacekeeping force is accountable and transparent in its operations and activities. Finally, China has proposed a new ceasefire and peace plan. Would China or North Korea be suitable peacekeepers in Ukraine? China and North Korea are not traditionally known for their involvement in peacekeeping missions. While both countries have deployed peacekeeping troops in the past, their track record has been mixed, and their approach to peacekeeping differs from Western countries. Moreover, China and North Korea have close relationships with Russia, which is involved in the conflict in Ukraine. Therefore, it is unlikely that China and North Korea would function as peacekeepers in Ukraine. In conclusion, Deploying a peacekeeping force in Ukraine would require a coalition of countries with the necessary resources, training, and expertise. Canada, Sweden, and Poland are three countries that could function as peacekeepers in Ukraine. The 10 strategies we discussed could help ensure the success of a peacekeeping mission in Ukraine. However, it is up to the international community to decide whether a peacekeeping mission is needed in Ukraine and which countries would be involved in such a mission. Thank you for watching this video.